Okay, good afternoon again, church. Hello, Phil. Good to be with you, brother. And you too. Good to see you as always. Uh, we are back with another weekly update. And as we're looking ahead to Sunday, we've just got some, uh, yeah, some encouragements, some details about this week. Obviously, last week was uh, a unique week in the last four months because we actually met indoors. Um, so we've got a few things that we want to just uh, kind of encourage you with and uh, get before you as our sign up page is going is live right now. You can sign up and as we prepare for our worship together on Sunday. So um, one of the things that we wanted to talk about was just kind of the the dynamic that we've got seating in, in the auditorium and, and fellowship hall. Um, Phil, do you want to kind of explain some of the um, yeah, the encouragements and, and uh, dynamics between seating there, seating here, and just how to help us prepare to think about that. Yeah, absolutely. And I would just echo what I said last Sunday, which is I'm glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. You know, we, we have the privilege of being able to gather at, at God's house uh, in, in indoors. And, and one of the reasons, just to recap why we moved indoors, which is still the case this uh, Sunday, is the, um, and not having outdoor seating options, which normally we, uh, we've been doing indoor and outdoor options, but the air quality index is, is still the same forecast this week as last week, and so um, for health uh, concerns, we're actually encouraged for those who are older, younger, children, teens, those with any health conditions, we were being encouraged by, by health authorities to minimize exposure outside and be inside, so that's this Sunday, um, we're gonna uh, not have any outside seating, which would be in, in the future, we'd, we'd like to have outside seating options, which is some of your desires. So this Lord's Day, what we're looking at is like last Lord's Day, um, the sanctuary and then Fellowship Hall. We can fit more or more than half or, or so in the, the sanctuary and then others in the Fellowship Hall. Uh, so socially distant seating is what we are uh, committing to and continuing. And so um, please, I would just say as, as the ushers are doing the best they can, uh, just be gracious with them. And uh, I would also say if you are just as comfortable or, or even if you're willing to, to, to be in Fellowship Hall this week to give an opportunity to those who couldn't be there last week and also thinking about visitors and some of our elderly or just people who, who would like to be there who couldn't be there last week. If, if you'd be willing to serve in that way by sitting in Fellowship Hall this Lord's Day, that would be uh, an, an opportunity uh, for this Sunday. But we, we want to be here to, to help um, and, and support you as best we can. And so uh, we can't have everyone in that location with, with socially distanced. And so that's why we've got at least two locations with, with an overflow location as well. Yeah, that's right. And things will look a little bit different, both uh, up here in the fellowship hall, or sorry, down there in the fellowship hall in the, in the auditorium. Um, we'll probably have a bit more seating uh, in the in fellowship hall, but also up here, mm -hmm. we're gonna uh, do just do something a little differently. Rather than having long rows, we're gonna have uh, more kind of clusters of seating, so that some of that can even be arranged if you come with a larger group or you've got a smaller group, uh, because we do want to help the spacing kind of stay intact. But uh, anyways, just gives us a little more flexibility. So again, things things will look a bit different um, yeah. this week, not much, uh, but we, we actually spent about an hour or two last night with a group of our leaders and servants, um, Scott Blasius and, and Neil Wilkendorf and, and uh, Kelly Richards and Ed Walker, uh, Clint, a bunch of our deacons and elders just putting our heads together to figure out how do we do just a little bit better this week from mm -hmm. what we did last week. So uh, I think you'll see those things. Uh, again, we're, we want to communicate well, especially as folks are coming onto the campus. Mm -hmm. our, our parking people and our safety team, they'll have radios, walkie-talkies, so that they can communicate well. Uh, one of the things that we just want you to know as well, if you're bringing guests or you are a guest, uh, we'll have greeters both here at the auditorium and at, at the fellowship hall because we do want to welcome you and, and we're grateful that you're with us in this time because it is a really unique, sometimes strange time, but uh, we're grateful that God has allowed us to gather, to, to mm -hmm. sing, to pray, to mm -hmm. worship in the preaching of God's word and, and our fellowship afterwards. So we do want to facilitate that the best we can in the warmest and, mm -hmm. and most welcoming way that we can. So anyways, we want you to be able to anticipate that and uh, we're looking forward to being able to host our, our worship 
together again on campus. Amen. So, Amen. Oh, well, we love you, church. And uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Phil or myself or any of your deacons and elders, leaders. Uh, we want to help um, really facilitate a sweet time of worship and, and outreach again as a church as we preach the gospel and we minister the word this weekend. Amen. Hope to see you soon.